All right, folks. In this video, we're going to look at HitFilm Pro and the effects of doing a simple overclock on your CPU. See if any uh, performance is gained. So uh, to do that, we're going to do it inside of the Intel Extreme U Tuning Utility instead of doing it through the BIOS. And we're only going to mess uh, under advanced with the core. We're going to adjust these, okay? So this is basically what it's set up at. Uh, this is our baseline, all right? In a little bit, we'll uh, max every one of these to 46, and then we'll go 47, 48, 49. Um, I have a 30-second clip that's got some special effects in it, so it's not just a uh, simple 4K video. Um, it does tax the CPU a little bit and the GPU. Um, so let's get started. So I also have OBS running and, uh, so we have three things going. So this would be faster if it was just hit film pro probably, but all right. So we're going to export and let me remove finish tasks. All right. So previous I messed around with this with an Intel, um, not Intel, a uh, NVIDIA GPU, and now we're using the AMD. Whatever reason, the RX 5500 seems to uh, help out the good old Intel CPU more than the uh, NVIDIA GTX 1660 Ti did. Now, uh, benchmark-wise, the 1660 Ti is ranked higher, uh, but it would appear it's only for gaming. That it, it's really beneficial because <laughs> it absolutely crushed the uh, 1660 Ti. So, so it looks like we're going to end up around a minute and uh, eight seconds, somewhere in there for the first run. Which is actually really, uh, really good for this. A minute nine seconds. Okay. So I'll try and speed up some of this video as we go on. All right. So normally, you know, it's a good idea to uh, run a stress test after you adjust all these, uh, and I highly recommend that. Matter of fact, I highly recommend that you don't follow in my uh, footsteps. Uh, Save that. This is going to be 46. All right, so let's go over here. And we're going to do this again. And I'm not going to talk this time until it is complete. All right, all right, folks. So a modest little gain there. Um, you know, it went from 69 seconds to 67. So um, a little greater than 2% gain um, just by making all the cores hitting on the same uh, multiplier. So let's go ahead and do uh, 47 all across the board. And you don't have to do this the way I'm doing it, but just so I can pull these up if I wanted to. Okay, so like I said before, um, running a stress test and all that, you definitely want to do that. Uh, keeping track of your temps. I um, already went through this and know that I'm, I'm good up to a certain number. Uh, after that, then I have to mess with the voltage. So... In this case, though, we uh, we don't want to mess with the voltage. We're just doing the simple uh, change here. So, 47 now. Let's go ahead and do this again. And hopefully we'll see some more improvement. Oh, 
All right, folks. So another second improvement. Now, normally I would I would run at least three, uh, most likely five runs a piece, but um, I was doing that, and we we're pretty much nailing the number every time. So um, we're just doing one at a time here. But so one more second improvement. Um, overall, that's three seconds over 69, which is probably pretty close to at least a 4% improvement. Let's bump this up one more time. Oops. Easier to just do that one. And I've already got a 48 in there, so we're not going to do it. All right. Let's run this again. All right, folks, another second improvement. Um, as you can see now, four seconds. And uh, I don't have the good old calculator on the bottom here, but uh, we're definitely uh, close to five seconds improvement. So let's go ahead and bump this up one more time. And voila, one more second of improvement. So five seconds, um, first run was 69, down to 64 seconds. And uh, let's go ahead and grab the calculator. Of course, somebody will probably tell me I'm doing this wrong, but... Uh, Seven seven percent improvement. So that's uh, that's pretty good, folks. That is darn good. Seven percent. Now, why is that good? So, for every hundred seconds of doing this processing, I save seven seconds. We'll say right. 